So no one can question black women. No one can correct black women. No one can offer information and advice to black women. Hey beautiful people, how you all doing today? It's your girl Destiny here yeah? and welcome back to my channel. All you are doing, hope you guys are doing great. So this video, it, like, we're going to get to that. So this video is a video of a black woman who came online to talk about how black women will come on social media to seek for help. And when people give them correction, they don't want to take. And she was like, you know what? Black women will say black men can correct them. Black women will say white women or black white people can correct them. So who can correct black women? And she wanted to really go on with this uh you know, to say, you know what, black women will be doing what, you know, that she's tired of black women, most black women, she might not to say most black women, are not all, but most, they don't take correction, black women feel like they're untouchable, I know that, and I find this conversation very, very interesting, because I feel like, someone like me, I'm a black woman, but in Africa, but someone like me, before usually say that I, I can't be corrected, and all that, and I find that very interesting for someone to ask, them, who can be who can correct black women? So anyway, guys, let's go check out what this sister have to say. And let me know if you agree with her or not. And then we'll come back and talk more. Let me start this video by saying I am being sincere. I genuinely want to know I am making this video so I can gain an understanding. So no one can question black women. No one can correct black women. No one can offer information and advice to black women. Nobody. And I know you're probably thinking, Ash, where are you going with this? This is not a question. I see so many women come onto this app, not all, but some, a lot, to be honest, and say they're having a problem with something. And you will have people offer advice and they will say no that's not it people will make videos where they are blatantly wrong in what they did and people will come and say you're asking if you're right or wrong we're here to tell you that you're wrong no i'm not you will have people that will make a video example i'm never approached by men what am i doing wrong or maybe you're not approachable. No, you're wrong. Help me to understand who can say anything to black women. If black women can't critique and correct black women, black men cannot critique and correct black me black women because you need to stay out of women's business. We know the counterparts can't say anything, which I understand. Who can? I'm just trying to figure this out because... No matter what content that I put out, it is always with the greatest of intent to help improve my community. Now, we may not always agree, and I respect that. But why is it that everything that I say is looked at as a negative, it's looked at as I'm being a pick-me, it's looked at like you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, so when the black men come and say, hey, ladies, y'all are saying that y'all are having problem with black men, here's why. No, it's not. Who, who can correct us? I genuinely want to know. I genuinely want to hear what y'all got to say in the comment section. That video got a lot of stitch, and I know you have a lot to say, and I kind of get where she's coming from, but also I don't get where she's coming from. But I want to know what you think about this video down in the comment section. Go ahead and share your thoughts. So this video has gotten a lot of women, especially black women, to respond to this video. And we're going to get to that. But one thing I want to put out, I had talking to I always make the reference to dating men and all that. And I'm like, is that why? If that's the case, there are a lot of women, not just black women, that have come to share their horrible story, advice and all that. And people will come and tell them this is wrong and they'll come and pick. So I don't think it's particular to black women alone. Because I posted a video a couple of days ago of a woman that um, she's allergic to share fish. And her husband loves share fish. And when people called her out, that why would she even be dealing with a man that would comfortably put her life in harm's way? This woman was like making excuses for this man. So I feel like it's not just a black woman thing. I feel like... 
anyway let's hear other people's thoughts on this and then i'll come back and share more but please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts love to know what you think so let's go check it but before we get into it if you haven't subscribed to the channel what are you with? What did I do to you? Go ahead and smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you'll be notified daily once I upload video because I post videos every single day and you don't want to miss out on the type of video and conversation we have here on this channel. So let's go check it out and then we'll come back and talk more. Good morning. So I wanted to do commentary on the correct black woman thing that I've been seeing on my timeline recently. And there's just been this debate about who can correct black women, um, why are black women so against correction, and then the counter part of it being black women are always corrected. We're always being held accountable. And I wanted to have... And I might make a room about this, but I wanted to have a separate conversation um, about this because I don't know if it's more so that black women are against correcting. I think what that looks like for other people doesn't like what that looks like for you and what it looks like for me is two different things. So what I mean by that is the correction that I need as a black woman may not be what you need as a black woman. And a lot of the times it comes off like vitriolic and not genuine like you're just trying to correct that person or that black woman just to make yourself feel better so like for example i i don't agree with every black woman's life being the same i think black women should take the space and opportunity to figure out what works for them and i feel like for the people that are trying to hold black women accountable or correct them it's like you're trying to correct them and have them live this monolithic life and anything outside of that lane and outside of that is wrong. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think we're progressive enough as people to be correcting because what works for you may not work for that next person. And really what it is is around the baby mama culture and women should be getting married. And what happens is that you have an influx of conservative black women saying that this is the way to go and this is the only way that it should look. And if you go outside of that norm, then you're wrong which I think is wrong. So follow me here. I know that was a lot, but follow me here. I don't feel like there needs to necessarily be correction from people you do not know, right? I feel like if we focus on correcting the people in our lives that we know personally and can help, I think that would have a better reaction than coming online and trying to correct the wrongs of every single black baby mama every black woman that wear a bonnet every black woman that wear a crop top like it almost becomes stifling so the people in my life that can correct me and i feel comfortable with that accountability i actually take that versus someone who i've never met online you know what i'm saying saying you know black women this and black women that it does become like you're dumping on us and I don't have any kids, but I don't have to be a baby mom or, or, or have kids to know that it, it's hard. It's just hard. And bashing them for having the kids. The kids are already here. What do you want them to do? I don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's a conversation that just can't be had just within a two to three minute period. Like It's a long conversation about why people feel the need to always correct black women. It really does seem to be true that the only person that can correct a black woman is a gay man. I'm not coming for any, you know, the, the LBGT community at all. I'm not sure if y'all saw the post where the woman was asking the question, like literally asking, like, who can correct us? Like, who can correct us? And at first I thought no one, like there's no one on this earth who can correct, correct a black woman. Not a, not a black man, not a black woman, not nobody. No one, no one can correct us. Can't nobody tell us anything? No one. And when I was in this live the other day, this man said it. The only person who can correct a black woman is a gay man. And I'm like, you are right. You are right. I don't know why, but that is so on point. They value their opinion. And this is, not, I'm not, I'm just saying that that is where the correction can come from. They value that man's opinion. They value what he thinks, what he says she should wear, what she should do, how she should act. Like, it's like what he thinks is golden. Anybody else? I don't know. I don't know. Like, I, when he, when that man on that live said that, I was like, wow. That, you're accurate. That is absolutely correct. That it's only, from, from what I've seen, when I thought about it, I'm like, yeah. That's who they listen to. A woman telling you how to be a woman, you ain't gonna listen to her. Cause why would you? She's only a woman. She's only a woman telling you what a, how a woman should, you know. But I don't know. I don't. I don't. 
But that made a lot of sense. And I was like, wow. Outside of that, nobody can correct us. Can't nobody tell us anything. Nope, no one. So no one can question black women. No one can correct. Once again, question, let's get into the sociology behind it. This is a perfect example of the loaded questions fallacy. Basically, it's a thinly veiled attempt to accuse someone of something under the guise of a question. So it's an accusation posed as a question. And respectfully, if this is in any way indicative of the way you frame a genuine question, then that tells me everything I need to know about your viewpoints. You frame this question as if it's an indictment. It feels more like a grievance rather than a genuine request for further information or an opportunity to open up dialogue in your comments. You presented that question as if there's only one answer to it and then you answered it yourself. So what exactly are you asking? Because the question should be, why do so many people have an issue with accountability? Why do so many people dislike being corrected? Why do so many people ask questions if they don't want the answer or they don't want the truth? Truth. Instead, you took that, which is applied to everybody, and you tailored it specifically to black women. And then you said that people call you a pick me. Did you look in your comment section? Because I did. Who's in there? What are they saying? Who are you stitching? That's the problem. You're generalizing a whole group of women, a demographic that you come from, because you want validation from a certain group of people. But at the same time, you're accusing black women of lacking accountability or disliking accountability and wanting validation. That's exactly what you're doing. So if you're displaying pick me behavior, people are going to call you a pick me. And to answer the initial question, even though it's, it's irrelevant, I correct black men and black women all the time on this app. Nobody has ever called me a pick me. Nobody's ever accused me of not loving my community because when I address any issue in the community, it's from a place of love and they know that. So if people are pushing back against the way that you present your messages, then maybe people aren't the issue. Maybe your delivery is. And quite frankly, this delivery is very emotional. It's so emotional to the point that it makes me think that it's personal. So if you have these grievances and you like to air them with specific individuals, then do that. But it's harmful and it's inflammatory to throw all black women under the bus and to overlook a complete history and our present day experiences being black women, the way that we're treated, the way that we're antagonized simply for existing. We're constantly corrected. We're constantly policed, even when it isn't necessary. So people have the right to push back or reject criticism that doesn't resonate with them, even if they pose the question. Now, do some people lack accountability in that sense? Absolutely. A lot of people have a hard time hearing the truth, but you made this specifically about us. And then you're mad because you're saying that everything that you do is for the community, but people call you names and say, you're a pick me. You're partaking in colonizing ass behavior. You're using black women to rage farm, just like everybody else does. We all know that in these social media streets, the best way to get, to get your engagement up, to get your money up, is to drag black women. And you're doing it, but you're doing it in a way that most people don't because you are a black woman. You're doing it under the guise of caring for the community. That's not how you come off. Yeah. Nobody would look at me, listen to anything I said, even if they disagree with my standpoint. They will not say she don't love the black community. Nobody because that's not what you get from my content. So if people are getting that from your content, then maybe the people aren't the issue. Maybe it's the person delivering the message. One can question black women. No one can correct black women. I think I like TikTok's particular style of rage bait content because it relies on the same formula. Like stereotypes win here. And usually when people are talking about holding black women accountable, for one, they mean punishing them. That's what they mean. They mean punish black women for a thing. Usually the thing has to do with the types of relationships that you have or the men that you choose, or, you know, it's usually related to them being bad mothers, which is not a new concept. Like these conversations were being had in the 1800s and I can provide proof of that. So it's, it's not a new conversation. It's not like black women back in the day, whatever the quintessential day is, were doing something different than what they're doing now. And people were saying something different than what they're saying now. They're saying the same exact things. But what they usually mean is we want you to punish black women. Why are we punishing black women? The offense is that they don't do the things that other women do. They don't ascribe to a certain level of femininity and they need to be punished for because the next step usually is, you know, how they berate black men. What is berating black men? Talking about and sharing their experiences of harm at the hands of men who are in proximity to them. That's usually what that is. But also, if I were to turn this on its head and say, hey, you know what? We should hold black women accountable. Let's start with you. Let's start with how about we don't make any more rage baby content? How about we don't, you know make videos where we are punishing black women for offenses that we don't know if they've done or not. How about, how about we do that? Then it'll be a no. Then it'll immediately be, uh, you know, 
women can't handle the truth or you know when you talk to these black women they just can't handle what i'm put i'm just putting it out there like it is it's been that way putting it out there like it is is stereotypes that perpetuate negative attitudes towards black women that's always been the thing so what exactly are they being held accountable for I've been seeing a lot about the conversation about who can correct black women and it leads me to believe or leads me to reflect on the fact that a lot of people don't have enough self-awareness to fix their life. And if you don't have self-awareness, if you can't learn to build self-awareness, your life will never get better. So the reason that I think, and this is not quite honestly, I don't think it's just black women. I think it's all women, but the conversation is around black women. We can't be corrected because we think we're never wrong. And we can't be corrected because anytime someone tries to correct us, we tend to deflect, right? And I'm saying we, speaking about women as a group. Um, but if we were more self-aware, and if we learned, again, to build that self-awareness about ourselves, we would be able to take criticisms without being offended. We would be able to, well, sometimes you are going to be offended, and that's okay. It's not wrong to be offended. It's wrong to take that offense, bottle it up, and punch the... <laughs> punch the information that you're supposed to be receiving back to the sender that's when it's wrong so we take that we get up we get upset about it we bottle it up and then we punch it and we send it back and we deflect it and then we always have something else that we would say so for instance and i see this a lot especially in my post because the type of thing that i talk about and because i talk mostly about marriages from the perspective of a wife i'm never going to sit on here and give y'all advice from the perspective of a man because i'm a woman but unfortunately, a lot of what I see is in the comments from women, it's like, yeah, but yeah, that would make sense if, or no, nobody's going to do that. That's just too much. And it's like, we want to argue a point until we're blue in the face instead of sometimes just sitting back being, again, self-awareness, being self-aware and being like, oh, you know what? I do that. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I'll get a different result. And we jump over that possibility just to jump to be offended. And then even to the point where you'll hear people say things like, oh, are you saying this? Like, is this what I hear you saying? Completely reading what you're saying wrong, inserting irrelevant information, making points that just don't need to be made. And it's really concerning because again, it all to me boils down to self-awareness and being able to say, I'm not perfect because nobody expects us to be perfect. We're all going to do something wrong sometimes. But having a self-awareness to say I'm not perfect and the information that's being presented to me is a proper reflection and maybe I should take that, unpack it a little bit and think about it before I say that it doesn't apply to me or before I say this isn't the information that I want to receive because a lot of times it's exactly what we need to hear but we don't want to hear it because we don't want to be corrected by anybody. But, um, yeah, self-awareness is probably the key to improving your life, but you refuse to be self-aware and you continue to be offended by everything and then everything that you want to be offended by, you want to deflect it and bring up other things. So you never really address the issue because every time the issue is coming up to be addressed, you're deflecting and sending it back somewhere else. So self-awareness is probably key. So... Please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. As always, you're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we we'll do it in a respectful way. So go ahead and share your thoughts and let us know what you think. Like I always say, we're allowed to disagree, yeah, okay? So feel free to share your opinion, okay? It's a safe space to have conversation. So I find this conversation very interesting about asking how, who can correct black women. Like the other a creator said is that being just pointing it up on black women just seems very, very disgenuine because this is something that happens across every race, every skin color, every person, that a lot of the time, especially because she's talking about, like I pointed out, she was usually talking about the relationship type, the dynamic, how black women, when you tell them they are wrong, they call them out. But it's something that I've covered multiple stories from black women, Hispanic women, that they'll share something, and imagine the one that called the husband side chick and all that. They will say something, and people are like, you know what, you're wrong there, and all that, and they will come back and try to defend their actions and all that. It is not 
peculiar to black women and this is why when it comes to the way people live life and all that i feel like when people come to give advice and share their thoughts on things they usually just take it up from just one point of view not realizing that as people we are from different walks of life different uh, environment different family so the way we process things the way we take things is going to be different and this is why i always say on this channel we are allowed to disagree and this is why like the way society has stem up certain things that they always feel like when you don't agree with somebody's choice somebody's opinion somebody's way of life lifestyle that that means the person is a negative or oh, this person no i don't see it that way people should start making being different choosing a different path in life as a normal thing it's your life whatever you choose to do with it i respect it even though i disagree with it i will respect it and i will move on from it i'll share my thoughts and i'll move on from it but what people we hope we talk about oh the baby mama culture that are uh, black women they keep doing this the truth is that put it out there share your thoughts as much as you can share your advice stories that can help people you can't force down people to change their thoughts while how they see life and all that you can only share your experience share other people's experience so they can use one or two to count and like you know what mm, let me talk to myself normally as human beings we are and the way society has built it is that naturally the first thing we want to do is to defend ourselves so when somebody call you out on something you just say no i don't know you want to defend yourself it's a normal thing it's not peculiar to black women black men do it white men do it it's just it. everybody have a reason why they did what they did and you're going to stand by it whether you like it or not everybody has a reason of why they choose the life they are living and they're going to stand by it or not so whether you agree or not it's their own thoughts it's their own reason and like I always say, I say, if people are not mad, <laughs> like people are not mad, even though yes, to you, it may seem like madness, they are not mad, but they have a valid reasons of doing what they do. And usually what their reasons of doing things boils down to their family, the way they are raised, their environment, the economically, who they are, like what they're instilling, their trauma is what trickles down to why they choose what they do and some of them some people are doing things because they've not healed they've not done the work so they're going to do things differently from somebody that has started doing the work very self-aware and all that and like the other sisters say people that have not done the work people that are not very self-aware because when you've done the work when you're healing your trauma when you're in therapy it kind of gives you like for you to look back at yourself for you to look yourself for you to be able to ask yourself questions and all that. that's something i do a lot to myself they take criticism very subtle compared to somebody that has not done the work and this is why it's a preach that will go on here on this channel where we usually say you know what do the work heal your trauma because it's a valid point when you do the work to heal your trauma and you center yourself you're very separate so when you get some criticism about certain things you look at it you're like you know what Mm, maybe i'm doing that wrong maybe that doesn't serve me so you're asking the right question how does this help me you're not doing things out of a place of trauma out of a place of what society has prepared for you you're doing it because you want to do it and when you're very self-aware when you want to do something is to your core you believe it and you do it so this idea that people are always judging people of their way of life or what how they choose to live their life and yes i guess it's something we do here on this channel what we come we have is a conversation i won't say i don't come here i, I try as much more not to come here to criticize yes i may say no yes but that's my opinion and my opinion may not be my my truth may not be that person truth my thought may not be that person and it should be respected people should stop like the old thought of just dragging black women into it like nah i'm not here for it like stop it it's, it's not just it does not just make sense like you don't know what that person has gone through that makes that person to be in that relationship the person may have a issue trauma issue where they are they feel like they need to leave their house because their household was not safe so they decide to have a boyfriend and that's the only thing they know that is solid for them because even their family was not solid and they choose to have a child and that's why i create the type of content here for other women to hear other women's story and then you figure out because if i come and learn to say you know what oh i think marriage is a scam da, 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 da. i don't want to have kids okay okay but the truth is that everybody's not for you and everybody's not going to be in this model 
dimension that everybody's going to do the same thing, everybody's going to believe the same thing. No, that this world will be a boring place. We're allowed to be different, and it's fine. You know, the channel, we have women that believe in having children. We have women that believe in marriage. We have women that don't want to have children. We have women that don't believe in the institution of marriage. And it's fine. Okay? Don't drag black women in and say, okay, correct black women. And what is that need to correct black women? What do you mean by correct black women? What's the need? Why do you want to tell people what to do with their life? You already call them. They are women. They are grown adults. So why are you so to correct black women? Why? Anyway, guys, please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts. Love to know what you think about this amazing conversation down in the comment section. But please keep it respectful. As always, you're on this channel. We're allowed to disagree, but we'll do it in a respectful way. So go ahead, feel free, and share your thoughts. Share this video with somebody that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here. We have banging conversation. So go ahead and share this video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, smash the like button because this helps YouTube to push out my content for more people to see and join in the conversation. And that will be you supporting this channel and this guy. Yes, so go on and do that. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't, okay? And click the notification bell while you subscribe, okay? Thank you so you'll be notified as every single day as I upload my videos. So go on and do that. With that all said, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Do see.